<laughs> Look what came in the mail the other day, guys. This Robin Hood card. Ba ba. Dun dun dun. Brr. That was my attempt to make the Rugrats noise. Um, but anyway, the, the the Rugrats sound off the opening. But whatever, guys. Listen, we have made some incredible losses and gains this month in March. So really, since the beginning of the year. But March has been an insane time for investors, for long-term investors, day traders, swing traders, short-term investors, whatever you are. If you're not moving money around the stock market, what are you doing? There's plenty of money to be made, whether it's going down or coming up, but this market has come up and I have made a list of purchases into new positions and old positions on what? Robin Hood. You know what? I'm sad Robin Hood didn't send me a card, like a box. I don't know if you've ever seen people open these up, but they'll send it in like a box and you pull one side and it pop out the other end, but nah, they just sending me like letters and stuff. I guess I'm not that uh, great. I'm not that important for them to send me a nice box where you pull up one side and it pops out the other. <laughs> but guys, let's take a look at what I've been doing with my monthly dividend Robin Hood portfolio. Hey guys, it's Michael Romero here. If you don't know who I am, I am a small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things, trying to teach you guys some of the knowledge that I know, that I learned, especially anything financial, anything when it comes to leveling up in life is really what I want to do. I want to teach you guys how to just be the best you that you can be, uh, especially when it comes to finances. Though I'm not perfect, I definitely try to um, level up every day and learn something new. That way I can bring new content, new ideas, new philosophies, and just help you guys be enlightened when it comes to finances and uh, all of that good stuff. Just try to get you out of the rat race. You know what I mean? I'm, that's what I'm here to do. But anyway, look, all this volatility in the market that's been happening, the Dow shoots down almost 10,000 points. So is it seven, 8,000 points? And then it shoots up, you know, two to 3,000 points in a matter of a few days. I think this past week was the best week we've had since 1933 and 1938. In a single day, should I say. Um, the best, one of the best days was either Monday or Tuesday. But uh, like on the week, I'm up like 14%, which is pretty good. Although I'm still down quite a bit. Um, it's all good because I'm trying to, you know, add to new positions. I'm trying to lower my dollar cost average and make money long term. <laughs> With this here Robinhood account, this here monthly Robinhood dividend portfolio. Uh, I don't know why I keep messing with this, but I'm pretty excited to check this out. But look, uh, guys, we are almost to 450 subs. Let's get to 450 subs by April 1st, by the end of the month. I can only count on you guys to help me out. You guys have been pushing this channel insanely fast and insanely far, at least. In my opinion, other people might not think so, but man, thank you guys so much for what you've been doing with this channel. And I hope that uh, I'm helping you guys as much as you're helping me. But look, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to push this channel a little bit further. Help a boy out, help your brother out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, and if you want to help out, all you got to do is smash that subscribe button, turn it gray, join this little family we got going on, guys. Listen, thank you so much for getting me to 444. What I'm at right now sounds like a lucky number, but let's see if we can get to 450 by the end of the month. There's only six more subs. I know there's six of you watching me that hasn't subbed yet, that's been watching my videos. Go ahead and hit that sub button. But if you don't, Hey, I don't, I, I, I get it, right? Anyway, look, let's hop into the phone. So, boom, here we are, all right? $3,221.69. Today, we're down $81.47, which is 2.47% uh, on the day after hours, we're up $1.87. On the week, we're up $385.52, which is 13.59%. On the month, we are down uh, $814.44, which is 20.18%. Three months, we're down $979.26, which is 200, which is 23.31%. Uh, 
And shout out to the negative two cents of having my cash balance. I don't know how that happened. Um, but you see the little bounce back we got going on? Boom. See, we would be around 4,300, something like that. But hey, it is what it is. But look, I'm going to go over the stocks and what I've been uh, buying and what I haven't been and all of this good stuff. And look, we do have a couple of uh, referrals that some of y'all hadn't finished. And I'll keep sending y'all reminders as you see once from 2019, February 4th, 2020, February, uh, March 23rd, 2020. This is for a free stock, guys. If you guys haven't signed up for Robinhood yet, I have a link in the description. If you use that link to sign up, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock just for you signing up. You ain't even got to put no money in it. But also, Webull, also a link in the description. If you sign up for that, you'll get a free stock. And if you deposit your first $100, or it might be any amount of money, you'll get another free stock. And I'll get a free stock when you deposit some money. So this channel ain't monetized. That's one way you can support me is by using my links because I get a little bit of monetary gain from it, from free stocks or whatever. But guys, if you don't want to use none of that, it's all good. Just check out the links in the description. There's more than just affiliate links. I have I have links to stuff like this right here, which is my Robinhood dividend portfolio spreadsheet. And I will be updating it today. Go ahead and check it out. Also, links to my Instagram, other stuff like that. Ford is down, 519. It's down a lot. It's down 44%. Um, I bought around roughly five shares. I brought my average down to $8.04 and I'm down $185.66, which is 35.44%. Next, we have SPHD, SPHD, which is a stock that you guys know I just did a video on Ch Friday. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, I own almost 15 shares of this bad boy. I brought my average down from like $42 to $38.13. I'm down $120, which is 21.19%. And I should be getting a dividend at the end of this month. I don't know why it's not showing yet. Coca-Cola. I bought one share of Coca-Cola and we're down 22%. I have a dividend coming of $2.87. Um, I own eight shares. My average cost is $52.02. My total return is $73.71. Uh, negative. I'm down that much. And uh, that's 17.71%. Mary Jane, Alternative Harvest, $12.21. Unfortunately, I bought uh, 25 shares at around like $16.21. But uh, I haven't bought any since this slip. Well, I have bought like one or two shares, but um, I'm not trying to put any more else in here um, for a while. Yeah, I'm down $113, which is uh, roughly 27%. AGNC Investment Corporation is down 25%. I bought one share, which is bringing me up to 13.209796 shares. Uh, ooh, and the market just closed, which is roughly brought my um, investment up, well, down to uh, my average cost down to $15.66, which is roughly, I'm down $30, which is roughly 14.75% of uh, this bad boy. And if you're wondering why I have uh, such a weird number of shares like 0 0.230 it's because all the dividends that i'm getting i'm reinvesting back into these stocks so if i get a dividend from agnc i'm putting it directly back into agnc coca-cola back into coca-cola all that good stuff bank of america is down like 39.27 percent it was yeah like 34 35 dollars 34 something like that i have a pending dividend of one dollar and 26 cents i have eight shares my average cost is $26.75, and I'm down $41.18, which is roughly 19.24%. Pfizer, I hadn't bought any new shares of this, but it's down 21%. My average cost is $35.55, and I'm down roughly 13%. AT&T, I still hadn't bought any new shares of this, but it's down 17.88%, which is roughly 40 bucks for my portfolio, and it's down altogether like the price of it itself uh, 24 percent my average cost is 36 dollars 29 cents stag i hadn't bought any new shares of this since our last video on this portfolio this profile um it is down over the last month roughly eight dollars which is 27 percent my average cost is 28 dollars and two cents on the day i have a return of roughly five dollars um but i have a total return of negative 37 dollars and 96 cents which is 
19%. Um, PSEC, Prospect Capital, over the past month, three months, we're down 30%. And I own 50.592825 shares with my average cost under $6, $5.96. I'm down $72.18, uh, which is 23.95%. Uh, and since our last video on this portfolio, I bought nine shares of uh, PSEC, Prospect Capital. MPW is down. 14.22%, okay? I have an upcoming dividend yield of uh, 1.62%, uh, $1.62. I own seven shares. I have bought one since our last video, one share of this, bringing my average cost down to $18.16. I'm up uh, point, I'm up 84 cents on the day, but I'm down altogether $3.36, which is $2.64. Um, Verizon, hadn't bought any new shares of Verizon, I don't believe. I'm down 14%. Well, the, the stock itself is down 14%. I have three shares with an average cost of $59.42. So, I'm down altogether $20.61, which is 11.55%. Iberia Bank, I have a dividend coming up of $0.94. Cents. Um, I own two shares. Over the past three months, it's down 51.19%, which is like 30 bucks, which is crazy. At my average cost is $57.66. Um, and I'm down altogether $42.06, which is 36.47%. Next, we have O, oh, Realty Income. Now, listen, we're down $16.22. Oh, I'm sorry, $16.08 on the stock itself. Now, I have 1.225727 shares. My average cost is $67.67, and I'm down $13.20, which is roughly 15.91%. Um, I've just been adding like a dollar here, $2 there, $3 there. Um, not all of these are from uh, the dividend, but I'm just trying to like put a few dollars here and there because this is like one of the stock stocks I haven't really put money into in a long time and I feel like I need to add, at least bring my average cost down a little bit. Uh, Washington Prime Group, um, my total return is $1.90. <laughs> um, I hadn't put any money in it, into it except for the money I got from my uh, dividend I got from it. Aflac, Aflac I bought one share and remember Aflac is a new position to the portfolio since all this has happened since the first of the year so i bought one new share of aflac but in the past three months aflac is down 32 percent almost 33 percent my average cost is 38 dollars and 59 cents the average price right now is 35 dollars and 40 cents so i'm down about six dollars and 38 cents which is roughly 8.27 percent i've yet to receive a dividend from this but i'm waiting to get one starbucks is another stock that i bought over the past since the beginning of the year, since all the stuff happened. But I haven't yet uh, bought another share from it. Um, I have one share at $80.07. I'm down $13.59, which is 16.97%. Over the past three months, it's down $21.53, which is 24.46%. Last but not least, we have Dun, dun, dun. Dallas Airlines. Now, Dallas Airlines is down a whopping $30, which is 50, almost 51%. I have four shares. I bought two, um, let's see. I bought two shares March 13th, and I bought at seven at $36.79. And then I bought two shares March 24th at $27.85. So that has my average cost at $32.32 with a total return of negative minus $12.56. I'm down $12.56, which is roughly 9.72%. As you can see, I only have one stock on this portfolio that is green. I'm not worried about it because 
I'm in it for the long run. In the long run, <laughs> the turtle always wins the race against the rabbit. Uh, slow money is show money, as you would say. You know what I'm saying? The faster it comes, the faster it's gonna go. Um, don't get me wrong, I definitely wanna have more money now, but it's more about creating and managing wealth and building it, right? If you build it, it, it'll it hold together. It'll stay longer, which is what I'm trying to do with this here. Um, and real quick, I just want to show you guys this. Earlier in the year before the Fed cut the interest rate, we, was at, we had a APY on the cash management portion of Robinhood, which was around a dollar, I'm sorry, a dollar, 1.8%. Now we're at 0.30%. I probably won't use it. I probably won't use this. Um, I might, down the road, um, figure out a way to incorporate this into making me more money if it's not a hassle. But that will be much later, guys. Um, we have been getting dividends. Boom, look. Look at all these March dividends. And I will do a <clears throat> I will do a video just on the dividends that I captured from March, probably in the next week or so. Well, when March ends, you know, whenever April comes. But let's go ahead and get out of this. So guys, I hope your uh, portfolios aren't doing as bad as mine. Like I said, I'm not worried. I'm still all smiles. I'm not worried about this temporary monetary loss because I know better things come in the future. Better things are to come in the future, guys. Like I said, I hope you guys' this portfolio is doing a little bit better than mine. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope your quarantine is going well. Uh, if it is, let me know in the comments below. And also, let me know in the comments below what new stocks you guys have been buying. And if you just blew your account up and you're like, nah, I'm, I'm not even trying to deal with the stock market until it comes back up. Uh, because uh, we all know that that's not the right thing to do. <laughs> but anyway, guys, look, if you find a little bit of value out of this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps the channel a lot more than you guys know. Also, guys, if you're still watching this video and you haven't hit subscribe yet, go ahead and consider clicking that red subscribe button, turn it gray and joining this whole family that we have going on, constantly growing. Help me get to 450 by the end of the month. Yeah, we're almost halfway there to a thousand. Almost halfway there to a thousand. It's all because you guys. Thank you guys so much for that. Also, again, guys, look. Free spreadsheet. You get to, you guys can check out my free spreadsheet. It's in the description below. I will be updating it later today with all this new information that I have right here. Um, it's free. Click the description below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Like I said, M1 Finance. Links in the description. You'll get $5 and I'll get $5 for signing up. We bull, you'll get some free stocks and I'll get a free stock for you guys signing up and making a deposit. And uh, Robinhood, you sign up, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. Like I said, I don't get paid from this channel, but I do get paid from these affiliate links. Um, it costs you nothing but a little bit of time and it's a great way to help support this channel. Also, I have a couple of big announcements coming up in the next week or so um follow me on instagram it's probably gonna be on this side or this side probably on this side because there's more space on this side follow me on instagram um people on instagram get more content and content faster than you guys do they stay up to date a little bit quicker uh anyway guys look i'm gonna stop talking i'm turning red in the face <laughs> i'm gonna get out of here you guys have a great day stay quarantined stay healthy guys